from Dog Pound Daily. Four scapegoats if things go really bad for the Browns in 2022. Uh, number four, they have quarterback Deshaun Watson. Going to depend on how many games he plays. Number three, the head coach Kevin Stefanski. Probably going to depend on how many games Deshaun Watson plays. To the front office, not necessarily seeing that one. And number Wood, one, Joe Woods at, and his defense. Um, yeah, Scott, who saying that if they don't say they're 500 again, who do you think? I don't know that any of those become a scapegoat. Yeah, I, I mean, we obviously we need to know how much Deshaun Watson plays. If, if he plays all 17 games and they go 500, yeah, then <laughs> you might be talking scapegoats. Um, but you know, just looking at that list, I, I'd flip it. You know, I think Deshaun Watson's going to get a lot of blame for how this if the season goes badly and he doesn't play a lot or he comes back and doesn't play well or gets hurt. I mean, the guy hasn't played since 2020, right? So we're all, we're expecting big things because he's got that talent, but you wonder if it's going to take him a while to get up to, to get to where the level he played at in 2020. Um, and then I would flop Kevin Stefanski in the front office. Um, you know, the, Andrew Barry has known the Haslam's longer than Kevin Stefanski has. Paul DePodest has been here a lot longer. Um, you know, and I'm not talking hot seat or anything. I, I just feel like um, the coach often gets the blame in the front office, sometimes skates, especially if the front office is in good with the ownership, and it certainly appears that way. And then I guess Joe Woods, but I think the defense is going to be good. And, you know, if Deshaun Watson doesn't play, I think it's asking a lot of the defense to carry this team. Um, but if he does play, then I, I think the defense is going to be right along there for the ride because I think it's going to be good. Yeah, and, and, you know, they played really well last year. If they continue that, all of a sudden Joe Woods is – you're talking about him as people want him as a potential head coaching candidate. That's that's kind of – if they go into that elite status, that's that's the next step for Joe Woods. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And not to beat a dead horse, but really when you look at that defense, the question mark is D-tackle. You feel good about the ends with your David Clowney back. Right, you think you feel good about linebacker getting better with JOK, and they brought back Anthony Walker Jr. Maybe Jacob Phillips can stay healthy. Right, you still have Taki Taki. The corners are really good. They got the top three safeties back, which I think when the last season ended, the Browns didn't expect to get Ronnie Harrison back, but there wasn't a big market for him, so he came back. Um, you know, I, I think they feel really good with the only question at D tackle, and maybe, and I'm sure the Browns feel better about it than maybe we do on the outside.